and he made up a full false story to try to harm me. And I'm like, oh, I don't really deal with this type of stuff. That's right, everybody. All of this drama is affecting Jeffrey's mental health, and there's a lot of valuable lessons that we can learn from this. But I gotta warn you, in this video, you're gonna meet tough love Chris, and it might lose me some subscribers, but if you stick through till the end, I'm going to give you some valuable, valuable tools to improve your mental health. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. What I try to do is take things going on in the community to teach you lessons that you can learn to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about why Jeffree Star is a magnet for drama, all right? Because I can definitely relate to this and you might be able to relate to this as well. And I'm gonna give you some advice and it might sound a little harsh. And if you're a huge Jeffree Star fan, you might get a little upset with me, but you know, like one of these things when it comes to improving our mental health is this. I say this all the time. True friends are the people who tell you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear, all right? But there's a great chance that Jeffrey will never see this video, so if you can relate to this and what Jeffrey's going through and all this drama just seems to find you, maybe you can learn something about it. Well, so anyways, Jeffrey, for those of you who don't know, you can check the info card. I have two other videos about kind of what's going on between Jeffrey Star and Thomas Halbert. There's a bunch of other stuff blowing up right now with like Nikki tutorials and Laura Lee, and I don't even know, so much stuff, but I'm not a drama channel, but like, there's so many lessons to learn from this. Cause like, I used to be so entrenched in drama and a lot of this is just about learning how to improve your relationships. So I see a lot of comments, I see a lot of tweets and they're like, oh my God, Jeffrey's just, he's just always the victim of this drama. He's just always this, he's always this, you know? And like, well, that might be somewhat true. There's a, there's a lot that Jeffrey can do to avoid this drama as well. And it comes down to self-awareness and accountability, right? Like, for example, from my personal experience, I used to think, I used to think that everybody woke up in the morning and they were like, how am I going to screw Chris over today, right? And that's, that's not the case. That's crazy for me to think. But why do these things keep happening to me? So this is, um, I'm gonna share a little bit of a story with you. I'll try to make it brief. Um, but it helped me realize how I cause a lot of my own problems. So when I got sober, I got a sponsor. And when you first get a sponsor, pretty much it's just somebody you whine, complain, and moan to. And you know, I get that, like people do it to me now. And, but this is what I did with my sponsor. So anyways, when I first got sober, I was living in a sober living house. And a sober living house, for those of you who don't know, like it's a bunch of people trying to stay clean living under one roof. And it's nuts. Like I did a cold turkey detox in there. I was a crazy person and there was 18 guys in my house, right? Well, anyways, I would call up my sponsor, and I would just be so mad. I would be so, so, so mad. I'd call him up, I'd be like, can you believe this stuff? I'm like, my roommate snores, um, you know, this guy, he smells funny, this guy's always, uh, you know, hogging the shower. I was like, somebody's like stealing my food. Uh, I was like, there's one TV in this house, and all they do is watch like Pawn Stars all day, and I'm just going off about all this stuff, all these people, everything going on in the house. And my sponsor would sit there and he would listen to me and he would ask me, after staying silent and letting me vent, he would ask me, he said, Chris, did you make any decisions based on self which later placed you in a position to be hurt? I'm like, I like look at the phone, I'm like, are you kidding me right now, dude? Because basically what he's asking me is, Chris, why are you in a sober living house? But that's not the answer I wanted. I want people to hear me complain about all these, these guys in my sober living house and just coddle me and say, oh, Chris, you poor thing, why don't people just treat you right? But let's retrace those breadcrumbs. Why was I in a sober living house? Well, was it because I, you know, abused drugs and alcohol so much that I became an addict and I lost everything from my money to my apartment to my car. I lost my friendships, the trust of my family members. I lost everybody's trust throughout my addiction that I didn't even have a couch to sleep on. That's why I had to be in a sober living because my mom did not trust me to be in her house. So why was I in that sober living? Like granted, this doesn't give everybody an excuse to treat me a certain way, right? It doesn't give them an excuse, but why am I in that sober living house? Because of me. So. I kept calling him and he kept reminding me that. And I'm like, okay, so eventually it got through my head. I was like, 
Well, I'm here. And guess what? I never want to live in a sober living house again, so you know what I do? I don't get drunk or high. So after I got out of the sober living house, I moved into my mom's house. Now, those of you who have met my mom on my channel, me and her have an amazing relationship, but in the beginning, um, it was hard for me to handle her and deal with her. I made a video about how I, how I forgave my alcoholic mom, but that took a long time. So when I moved in with her, I still had a lot of anger and resentment, and I would call up my sponsor. And I'm like, can you believe this woman? She was a drunk for 20 years of my life, and now she's trying to boss me around and tell me what to do. She's trying to act like you know a mom now. I'm a 27-year-old, I was 27 at the time. I'm a 27-year-old grown man. And she's telling me that, oh, did you brush your teeth? Did you, can you clean this? Can you clean that? Can you walk the dog? Can you do this? I'm like, can you believe this? And my sponsor would sit there and he would listen to me. He let me vent, and then he would say, Chris, did you make any decisions based on self in the past that put you in the situation that you're currently in? And I was like, Arr! because that's right. Like, why was I living in my mom's house? Why was I a 27 year old grown man living in my mom's house? The same thing as why I was in a sober living. I was the reason, I was the reason. So what my, what he was helped training my brain to do was to start realizing how I cause a lot of my own problems. And that's what I had to realize when it comes to drama just happening to find me. No, like if any of you watched my video about uh, Jake Paul and Alyssa and Faze Banks, I talked about, you know, people going out and partying. Like when you go out and party, it is more likely that a bunch of drama and dumb stuff is going to happen. So like, I had to realize that the people I was hanging out with, I was not hanging out with the best people. Because I was hanging out with shady people, shady stuff always happened. Now, I can't like, I look at it this way. If I go to the zoo and I jump into the lion's pit and the, lions, and the lion eats me, is it the lion's fault? Well, I guess kind of, but why was I jumping in the lion's pit? So that's what I, I, I would want you to think about. So when it comes to Jeffrey, like why? Like, why does this always happen? Like, I'm sure, you know, there are people who are maliciously out to get him and things like that. But I would, I would caution to say that maybe Jeffrey isn't the best judge of character. You know what I mean? Like, um, I brought this up with the Shane Dawson series. He's very empathetic. He sympathizes with everybody he comes in contact with. And once he finds that balance, he, I think his mental health will improve quite a bit. But there's a reason that these things keep happening to certain people. So I want you to kind of evaluate your life and say, am I doing the same thing and keep getting hurt, right? So here's another example. Back when I was single, before I was dating my amazing, beautiful girlfriend, um, I used to have a type. I love to date crazy women. I love to date crazy women. I like women who had like a little bit of a screw loose, right? And I talked about this in my like, why you date, who you date video. Um, but anyways, I, I didn't like dating boring women, right? They were just boring, they had their stuff together. Like, I want a woman who might stab me in the middle of the night or punch me in the face, you know? Like, just, I like I'm feisty. But then, I had a type and then crazy stuff would happen. I would date a crazy woman and then crazy stuff would happen. Like they would wreck my car, wreck my room, break my stuff, go through my phone. And then I would sit there and be like, why, why can't I just find a good girlfriend? Well, then I would remember, Chris, did I, like, did I make a decision in the past that put me in a position to be hurt? You're damn right I did. Because my type was dating crazy women, crazy stuff kept happening. Then I found my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, and she's only like a little crazy. <laughs> She has her quirks, I love her. But, but I hope you guys are starting to understand, like this is how I keep my head on straight. And for any of you who have anxiety, this is a huge, huge, huge skill for all of you. It's called developing an internal locus of control. It's realizing that you have a lot, a lot of control over the outcomes in your life. But the problem is, is a lot of us don't think we do. We think that this, these just things just happen all the time. Like I'm letting you know right now, since I stopped going out and partying, a lot less stuff happened. Since I developed, became a better judge of character, uh, uh, I have a lot uh, fewer friends who are backstabbing me. You, you see what I mean? So I'm never gonna be able to change other people. Like one of the most valuable lessons I've ever learned is this. It's a lot easier for me to change me than it is for me to try to change everybody else. You know what I mean? So the last thing I wanna talk about is Jeffree Star when he talks about, you know, him and Nathan, it's affecting his mental health, it's affecting their mental health. Every time he wakes up in the morning, there's more drama, right? <sighs> it's like, 
I'm good, but it does affect my mental health. It does affect Nate's mental health. It does affect my family when people are constantly lying. It's like, can you imagine just waking up and there's another fabricated fake ass story it's like can we just breathe and live our lives without people constantly trying to come for us like well here's the thing like i was actually just live streaming on youtube i'm actually gonna go edit it on youtube um i'm gonna try to do it like a few times a week but anyways what I, somebody asked like how do you how do you not care and i've done videos on this but like so I'm starting to grow as a, as, a, as a YouTube channel, and I don't even think I realize it most of the time um, because I have a problem comparing myself to others. I'm like, oh, I'm only at 18,000. It's not like I'm at a million, right? But I'm starting to build and build and build. But like I was saying in my live stream, I was like, I'm letting you know, like if people start starting rumors about me and saying lies about me, I could give zero F words, all right? I'm trying to censor myself. Like, I do not care. I do not care what people think. And like, the people in the live stream were like asking me like, how do you do that, right? It's because I'm constantly true to myself. I am true to myself. As long as I am doing the right thing over and over and over and over again, I don't care. And I know as I grow, as, as this happens, like if, if rumors start about me or whatever like that, like I'm gonna lose subscribers and I don't care. Like if somebody doesn't, um, doesn't fully understand who I am as a person, like, I'll be blunt with you. I don't need him in my life. I don't need somebody in my life. I have some subscribers on this channel who are still subscribed and have been subscribed for months who still question my, my, uh, my values and my morals and my personality. And guess what? I'm letting you all know right now, I sleep like a baby every night and it's nice. It's nice because I just don't care. I don't care what this person's opinion is of me because I know who I am. I cannot value other people's opinion more than I value my own. And I wish that Jeffrey would learn that. I wish that people like Shane Dawson would learn that. And trust me, some days it's easier to do than others, but this is something that we constantly need to work on. All right? So anyways, that's all I got for this video. Um, I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below. Do you feel that you attract drama and do you think maybe it's because you keep hanging out with the same type of person or you can answer this question where are you like me where i like to date the bad girl maybe you like to date the bad girl or maybe you like to date the bad boy do you think that maybe that's why your relationships keep not working out because you have a type that is prone to have a, a relationship that doesn't work out. Let's talk in the comments down below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You all are helping me do what I love, which is helping others with their mental health. So if you want to sign up and be a patron, click or tap on that link. You can do it for as little as a dollar a month. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.